In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Grief Karga from The Mandalorian. <laughs> Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Box Bounty video. Welcome to my review of the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Grief Karga. This is the Season 2 Grief Karga on the Mandalorian card as you can see in front of you and let's get straight into it and have a look at the card back. Now we've seen this card back before. It was announced pretty early when they announced the figure. We saw the card back and it is very photoshopped. In terms of they've placed Grief Karga or the image of Grief Karga you know, right in front of what looks like the entrance to Navarro. It does look superimposed, I'm not going to lie, but obviously it is not a drawing or anything like that. That is Carl Weathers, aka Grief Karga from The Mandalorian. It's just superimposed in front of the uh, gate, which, okay, doesn't make for a great card back, but it's not terrible either. The back of the card there, he is VC185 in the Vintage Collection, Disney and Hasbro on the back and of course all the rest of the wave there as well and uh, as you can see there he is in his bubble he looks pretty cool good to get one from the season two rather than the one that they got in the black series it's nice that they've mixed it up a little bit but of course i would like a series one grief cargo if possible um but uh yeah this 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 will do for now and it looks pretty cool so let's get him open and take a look all right then, so here he is out of the packaging, and as you can see, he's looking pretty good. I do like the head sculpt, I must admit, and I do like the paintwork. He's got his grey beard, which he sports in Season 2. Um, he suddenly aged a few years, didn't he, <laughs> over the course of between Season 1 and Season 2. But uh, yeah, they've done that pretty well. It looks alright. I think it looks like the character, which is the main thing. And the robes are all one piece of sort of soft vinyl plastic. So some people are going to like that because it drapes quite nice. Other people aren't going to like the fact that it's that it's uh, you know not soft goods. But I think it looks pretty good. It doesn't look too far away from what he looks like in the in the show. So it looks pretty cool. He's not going to be doing too much, but if you want him to, he can because he does have plenty of articulation. But to do that and show the articulation, we're going to need to pop the head off and take the robe off because taking the robe off with the head on is not possible really you don't really want to sort of stress this or stretch it so it's best to pop the head off first and then we can take it off and take a look now without the robes on it does look like he's got a bit of a long neck because it's you know the, the robe helps disguise that slightly it, it doesn't look right does it without it it's got to be said but we have to take it off so we can check the articulation and the articulation reminds me very much of when i saw the images for the new lando calrissian that's going to be coming out at the end of the year he has the split on the body and these joints look very very similar indeed um, the knees as well so i think they've used like the same sort of methods to do the articulation for those two figures and there he is he's looking pretty good the outfit's good it's got some good paintwork on it and everything he just looks like he does in the show which is obviously what you want from behind there he looks very nim num esque doesn't he with the uh red and the blue as I say, for the, in terms of the articulation, the head is on a ball, so he's got plenty of motion there. We have the ball hinged shoulders, the ball hinged elbows, and then this is how you do the gloves. This is what the Darth Vader should have been, the Rogue One Darth Vader. It's not at the glove. He actually does have a hinge on the wrist, and I much prefer the way they've done that. He has the crunch on the upper torso there. Nothing at the waist, because obviously that is your, that is your movement. He has a side holster for the blaster. The bottom of his shirt there is a softer plastic and you can just lift it up there to see that he does have hinges at the hips. He has splits on the thigh. The knee joints are good. And with most of these new figures that we're getting now, he does have the hinge and the rocker on the ankle. Not overly sure why you'd need it on this figure particularly, but then again, I guess he does get into a few scrapes with the Mandalorian in in the in the show so the blaster does fit in the hand very nicely indeed with the figure in the trigger holder there and then if we take that out it does also fit in his holster quite nicely as well like that with the little sight or scope hanging over the edge like that and that's not going to go anywhere anyway it looks a little bit strange like this so i'm going to put the robes back on and then we can continue to look at the figure and there you go, he does look a lot better with the robes on, it has to be said. And yes, it's a decent looking figure, another one for the Mandalorian collection. 
It's going to look good on the wall with the rest of them. There he is from the rear. Some nice paintwork on his shoulders there. And the cape does look like it drapes quite nicely, even though it is, uh, you know, not soft goods. So there you go then guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you do want to pre-order this figure, they do have him available for pre-order at Entertainment Earth. Link is in the description below, it's an affiliate link. And if you order through that, then it, it supports the channel. So thank you very much for that. Thank you very much for watching and we shall see you on the next one.